operations area here in Pasadena and the Goldstone site is now been turned over to the space science chief, Jack Lindsley, who will now direct the commands for the first television picture. He is now directing the station to turn on the camera power. That has been sent. Camera power command on has been transmitted. The next command will be the, te the, telev the telemetry indicates it's on. So far, no picture has been received. The next command is going out to turn on the 200 line mode of transmission in the spacecraft. On this monitor, that may look like a picture. It shouldn't be awaiting the should verification be of that being read by the mode. And the next command will be uh, to turn on the iris servo motor. Adjusting that the iris. is now being sent. It is sent. Level of the camera. We are now uh, waiting. The next command will be to start the frame. Start the frame. That will be the start of the The camera is now warming up. This we are standing by for the we start frame command. This is a command monitor in the control center. We're seeing right now are these on. We're now waiting the start frame command. command. Lights being turned off, television lights and room lights, so that the picture Our as it picture comes from the moon can be projected on the screen for all the news and the guests here in the JPL auditorium to see the picture the as it comes in. Here. Not the incoming picture from the moon so far as we know. And here the technicians keeping a sharp eye on the signal being sent from the moon. That's right. The command has been directed from Space Science Area. From Space Science. Command has been sent to start the frame. We'll know. We'll wait for confirmation. We anticipate that this, as we pointed out, this first frame may not be the best possible. But the frame has been started. This should be one of the legs of the surveyor craft. That's correct. Now warming up. Once we are receiving a picture. Video is being received. Here it comes. Once this picture is received, we'll see it from this tube face here a sudden readout. Once the picture is created, it will still be a very soft picture. Picture is now coming Surveyor one on the moon. Move the moon to the rear. The landing leg of the of the. Dr. Uh, Uri, I doubt very much you'll get any scientific results out of this first picture. We are seeing an electronic readout. After this, computers will go to work to clean this picture up to make it better. Space area, space chief is now directing the change to Iris. And it will be a far better picture than this picture. Iris setting of 22 to an Iris setting of 5.6. Roy, well, it doesn't look like the leg has penetrated the uh, soil there at all, does it? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. The noise at this center is pretty high. I said it doesn't look like the leg has penetrated the soil at all, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, I'm trying to read it a little carefully. And between the bright lights and uh, the rough picture, it's a little hard to see the landing pod down at the end there. You can see the leg very clearly. What will the next picture? We are receiving the second picture. It's now coming through. Here we go, Dr. Yuri. This one, I think, will be of more interest to you. This uh, stepped up somewhat, may perhaps even show the horizon. Five degrees. And we are now uh, sending the next command to start another frame. There is the next picture. There is an omni the antenna. There it is, an omni antenna. So that right is the that surface antenna. of the moon. Right now. And on one of the omni antennas in view. That would be the B antenna. The dark the spot is probably faithfully. Now, this is the dark spot, Dr. Yuri, that we see in the left side of the picture, uh, left of the antenna. The, an oval thing looks almost like a footprint. That is, is presumably a crater. I should think so. And how about the small one? That, that is a, a crater. Irregular in shape, presumably. This is very likely on the A. You see there is the pointer a regular fluttered, uh, uh, fluttered appearance on the thing. I think that's uh, That is presumably something. electronic, yes. That's false. But we do but see... there are irregularities on the surface and that's part of the surface of the moon. Well now the arrow points to the largest crater immediately yes. visible but there are uh, in other places away from it in the upper right hand corner of the picture a number of irregularities
is, which could be perhaps what? Craters, pebbles, what? Well, I think it's impossible to say. They're popular little craters, perhaps pebbles. Now, uh, apparently, you see the streak going through the center. That is uh, the, the omnidirectional antenna beam. We know that to be about uh, three inches in diameter. And presumably, it's a little closer to the camera, but, uh, so that it might project an image on the screen on the, on the floor uh, below it, on the surface of the moon, about five inches across. Now, these must be fairly small craters. We can see them to perhaps an inch across, would you think? Taking our first frame by keyboard command. There is a tape available, and many of these, there is the first six underlined picture. Again, uh, we are where we left off last time at looking at uh, pad number two. Now beginning on the command tape. There's the next picture on 600 lines. The pictures will now be coming up. There is the uh, next picture. You recognize this is similar to one of the pictures taken in the uh, 200 line sequence. We're now going into 0064. Start frame has been transmitted. There is a photograph of the spacecraft. No, that's one of the spacecraft. Those are about an inch in diameter. The uh, struts you are looking at are about an inch in diameter. There's white struts running diagonally up and down are about one inch in diameter. 